Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a three month update of Ken and I being on semi-glutide compound. He's just been so busy with work. We're actually an entire week late in sharing this video that I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna post the update real quick without him. He doesn't actually have anything like to report, no side effects, symptoms, nothing like that, where I kinda had a little bit of a difficult month, the beginning of month three. So I thought I would just sit down and I still have his numbers and everything. So I'm gonna give you an update for both of us, but I'm just gonna share kinda like what I went through the beginning of month three when I increased my dose from the 0.6 to the 1.2. Before I forget, I always like to share at the beginning of the video that we get our semi-glutide compound from Blush Aesthetics. They have offices in Perrysburg and Ottawa Hills in Ohio. You can use our code OFN100 to get $100 off your initial consultation. Everything is done over your phone or your computer. It's all done virtually. To use that code, you do have to live in Michigan or Ohio because those are the only states that they are licensed in because it is a prescription medication. All the information is down below. If you have any questions, just reach out to me or you can reach out to Blush Aesthetics. I'll have their website link down below. They have an app that you can download if you wanna do that for scheduling all of your appointments. They've been great. The whole process has been super easy. We just check in with the nurse once a month just to decide what we're going to do for like our dosage for the following month. We talk about like any side effects or issues you might be having and like together you kind of decide and make a plan what you want to do going forward, which is definitely what happened to me for my month three. I had some issues, but first let me get into the numbers before I get into all of that. So first let's do a recap because if you didn't watch our previous videos, I'm going to make it nice and simple for you. I'm going to give you all of the numbers right here today. So month one, I lost 10.2 pounds total. Month two, I lost 6.2 total. Month three, the month that we just finished, I lost exactly 6.2 pounds again. And I have a total weight loss of 22.6 pounds for those first three months. And then Ken's numbers are month one, he lost 11.8. Month two, 5.6 month three, 2.4, for a total of 19.8 pounds. And then his total going all the way back from like March when he first started taking metformin, he has lost 42 pounds since March. So 22 pounds lost just with eating healthier and the metformin could have definitely played a part in that and then another 20 pounds since being on the semi-glutide, which we started three months ago. So with those results, Ken was like, clearly his body is getting used to the medication. He still doesn't have any side effects other than like usually the day after we get the injection, he's just really tired. Sometimes he'll end up kind of taking a nap in the afternoon on Friday, cutting his work day a little short because it just kicks in about 24 hours after the injection. And he's just like, I'm just drained. I can't even think straight. I need to take a nap. So other than that, very little other side effects. So for me, my month three was a little bit more of a struggle. I too was bumped up to the 1.2. And the first two weeks of that month three, I lost 0.8 the first week and then 0.6 the second week. And I had the worst side effects that I have experienced so far. I just overall did not feel good. I had nausea really bad, so I was taking the Zofran to fight the nausea. I remember one night getting up out of bed and just felt so nauseous. I got really warm. I thought, like I felt like I could pass out. And I remember thinking in my mind, oh my God, I just, this is not worth it. I'm not gonna do this anymore. I can't wait until my next appointment to talk to the nurse because I just don't think this is working for me. So had a great appointment with the nurse in between my second and third injection for that month and found out that at least she thought that a lot of my side effects could be related to the types of foods that I was eating. 
I wasn't completely steering clear of fatty foods or foods high in sugar. Like I had a bowl of cereal one night before I went to bed because I hadn't eaten that much day, that day. And I was like, oh, cereal sounds good. And when you're on the semi-glutide compound and your body's just not digesting food like normal, you really need to avoid those foods that are just high in anything that's not good for you. High in carbs, high in fat, like especially fried foods, or high in sugar. And I had felt, at least so far, that I had definitely been eating less, way smaller portions, and losing weight. So if I wanted to just eat whatever I wanted, even if it was something not so healthy, if I could still lose, like why deprive my body of those foods? That was my attitude. And clearly it was the wrong attitude because the nurse had suggested that I really work harder at increasing my protein, decreasing all those other foods, which ideally, I know, my fault. That's what I should be doing anyways. That's what I need to teach and train my brain more than anything else so that I can maintain this weight loss and not gain it back when I stop the medication. Sure enough, week three and week four on that 1.2, I felt so much better. I lost 2.2 pounds week three and 2.6 pounds week four. So clearly that is an indicator, at least for me, I know all of our bodies are different, that I do need to steer clear of those foods and eat healthier and I have better success losing more weight and just overall feeling better. I mean, it, it could have been a combination of that my body got used to that 1.2 dosage and the fact of just eating cleaner, I just felt 10 times better. However, I did make the decision that for month four, I wanted to stay on that 1.2 milligram. I'd love to be where I was at month one where I'm losing 10 pounds a month to get to my goal quicker. However, I would rather lose weight a little bit slower with a lower dose and possibly not have those side effects. You know, those last two weeks of month three, I was walking more, exercising more, working in some lifting weights in our gym, like not going overboard where I'm getting completely burnt out because that is always my issue with exercise. If I force myself to do it every single day, I'll hate it. But I just try to like, okay, the one day I like cleaned house from like nine in the morning till 4 p.m. Like, I'm like, okay, I was active today. Don't need to work out. And then the next day, maybe I walked for 30 minutes. And then the next day I walked for 10 minutes, but then lifted weights for 20 minutes. I kind of just try to change it up like that and make sure I'm doing something active every single day. Because my work, my job is primarily sitting down in a chair, so. Oh, one other thing that I did was I changed my injection site those last two weeks of my third month. I am now doing them here in the like back of my arm, in the like fatty part of the back of my arm, and I rotate. I just keep track of when I keep track of our weight and everything. I just keep track of which arm I did it on so I don't forget. So actually Ken has to do it for me because it's not exactly easy to give your shot in the back of your arm. I guess I could if I had to, but there's no like scientific evidence. The nurse and I were talking about this. There's nothing, there's no data out there that could prove that this is true one way or another. Some people do think that sometimes where you get the injection could also be why you're having certain side effects. And um, I remember there was another girl that I had watched on TikTok. She started doing her injections in her leg and was having way more side effects. So like I said, not a proven fact, but definitely something to consider if you're doing the injections and having side effects. Change up your site where you're giving your injections and see if your symptoms improve. I do want to add as well that obviously when you lose weight, like you start to notice it right away, like even 10 pounds to lose 10 pounds is a lot, but I feel like it kind of just takes a while for like you really notice it like overall in your body, like just looking at yourself in the mirror when you put clothes on, side profile, like I'm always looking at like, you know, well, how does my stomach look since that's a problem area for me. And I feel like just these past couple weeks, I've been able to grab jeans from the back of my closet and move them up front because they fit me now. I just feel better in my clothes. Just overall, like, this is the first month that I recognize that, like, 
wow, I really feel so much better and I'm just happy with my results, starting to feel more confident and you know, it just it makes me want to keep going and try harder and exercise more because I'm like on a good path, you know? So anybody who's just starting out, if you're watching this video, like even if you've lost 10 to 15 pounds and you're still just not like feeling it, give yourself time. Cause I feel like, especially when you're losing like a lot of weight quickly, it just takes time. Like be patient with yourself and be kind, you know? Like I, I have to remind myself of those things all the time. Like every pound matters and it's all progress and you have to be proud of like allow yourself to be proud of yourself take the time to you know enjoy your hard work your efforts so that is our three month update be sure to let me know if you guys have any questions comment them down below again we have all of the information down in the description of this video where we get our semi-glutide compound from check that out if you live in michigan or ohio and thank you guys so much for watching this video i will definitely make sure ken sits down with me to film the four month update like i said we were just late getting this one done and i'm like i'm just gonna do it today and get it up <laughs>